The Chargers are the best team in the NFL. Now, two weeks ago, I made a video and said that the Chargers were the most dangerous team in the NFL. And I stand by that because I said that Joe Lombardi was improving as a play caller. A lot of you guys were not having it, calling me stupid, calling Joe Lombardi bad. I remember the comments, Erica. But after last week, I think we can all agree that was the most well-rounded and best offensive performance of the season. And I want to find out, is that because of Joe Lombardi improving as a play caller and offensive of coordinator or is that because all these guys are starting to get healthy again and just the natural development and progression of some of these guys throughout the season they're getting better right and in order to find that out i need to pull up the film but before i do that you know i gotta show you these defensive highlights while i tell you about our sponsor athletic greens i started taking ag1 because if the charges are getting healthy so am i and it's become a part of my routine i work out and then i mix one scoop of ag1 with some water anybody can use it too because it's keto paleo vegan dairy free and gluten free and it's also cheaper than getting all of these different supplements yourself i mean can you imagine getting 75 different high quality vitamins minerals probiotics and adaptogens it's just so much easier all in one. And to make it even easier, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash L-A-F-B-Y-T. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash L-A-F-B-Y-T to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. And now, Let's get into the film room. First play that I wanna show you, I cannot express to you how good Justin Herbert's pocket presence is and his footwork. He has gotten so much better since coming out of Oregon. Check this out. Just some pressure coming off this left side of the offensive line. So he drifts over to the left, well, to his right, and then he drifts back over to the right side, his left, because there's pressure coming from the right side now. And then he gets that ball off. He still has really good footwork right here as he's throwing this ball to Keenan Allen. And then the ball is a bit low. As you can see right there, he's got his hands on it. It's a tough catch. I think this was ruled incomplete, but what I want to point out is that amazing footwork. This is like a drill. He's doing a quarterback drill live in a Sunday game. So one thing the Chargers love to do in the run game is get a tight end in motion and get a trap block. Right here, as you can see, it looks like this is gonna be an inside zone to either the right side of the offensive line or like the A gap on the left side. Bobby Wagner totally falls for it, gets sucked in right here. Looks like Zion Johnson is gonna pick up that block maybe. But as you can see, because they have this tight end in motion, boom, trap block. Hit that edge defender right there. It allows the left tackle, Jamari Sawyer, to get that double team block, as you can see, on this defensive lineman. And just look, he starts right here in the middle of the field, gets pushed all the way outside of the right hash. And this is a run to the left side. Look at this huge hole that was opened up because of tight end Trey McKitty and left tackle Jamari Sawyer. Two young guys that the Chargers just drafted. And then Austin Eckler has a huge wide open space to work with. Really beautifully blocked run play and a great run by Austin Eckler as well. This is just great, a, a great team offensive play. I love seeing this as well. This is really good play design. Keenan Allen was in motion towards the bottom of the screen. And as you can see, once that running game starts going, play action pass right here. This man is stepping up and this man is stepping up. So now you have both of these Rams linebackers stepping up on the play. Joshua Kelly releasing in the flat. This linebacker has to respect that route. So what is he going to do? drift towards the sideline and that is going to create space in the middle of the field right here for Justin Herbert to make an easy throw. I have said many times on Twitter that the Chargers offense relies too much on Justin Herbert making tough throws or crazy insane talented throws. Look at how much space that he has to make this throw because of the beautiful play design drawn up by Joe Lombardi. You got to give him credit on this one. Really good play. The Chargers run offense is so creative with getting these tight ends in motion, but also with getting their tackles and their guards pulling. This is right tackle. Trey Pipkins pulling from the bottom of this offensive line up to the top to take on that edge defender. And he does it perfectly. You can see he gets contact with that uh, out or I guess inside shoulder of the edge defender so that he can't reach his arm out and affect Austin Eckler as he's trying to run past him. And you can see he's pushed him so far off the spot anyways that it wouldn't even matter 
which shoulder he goes for. Matt Filer as well is pulling out to this side, getting Bobby Wagner, the middle linebacker. And as you can see, Bobby Wagner is squirming a little bit, and it looks like he's kind of going to beat Matt Filer. And if I pause it right here, like I have, it looks like Austin Eckler is going to get tackled at about the five-yard line. But look, how does he do it? He just squirms his way through there and gets a touchdown on this play. Check it out from the end zone view. This is really great blocking. Trey Pipkins with a beautiful block. Zion Johnson, the right guard rookie, acting basically as a tackle right here. You could have run it this way too if you wanted to. And Matt Filer coming up to the second level, getting that block. Does a good job of kind of recovering on this play, as you can see. Bobby Wagner getting that arm out there with all that length so he can free up half of his body. But Austin Eckler cuts that back to the inside and just squirms his way into the end zone again. Like, dude, we got to start talking about Austin Eckler being one of the best running backs in the league. So this is an eight-yard run for running back Austin Eckler on this play. But I want you to remember everything that goes on right here, okay? So pay attention. Tight end Donald Parham right here. Tight end Trey McKitty lined up as a receiver. And then Keenan Allen as well. Austin Eckler is going to be going to the right side of this formation on the play. And all these offensive linemen just going straight up. Nobody's pulling. No one's doing anything weird. And Zion Johnson just going to the second level, blocking this man. And then Trey Pipkins getting that nice seal off block right there. Tight end Donald Parham, boom, right there on Bobby Wagner. And then Trey McKitty getting this uh, other edge defender just way out, well, outside on the play right here. And Keenan Allen, well, boom just sealing off these guys. It's a very well-blocked running play. Only goes for eight yards, but then later on in the game, you see this formation. Tight end Donald Parham right here. Trey McKitty, the tight end behind him, and then Keenan Allen lined up farther outside on this play. And you have left guard Matt Filer pulling to this side as well. This is going to be another run right here. And you can see Matt Filer picks that man up beautifully. You already see tight end Donald Parham Getting that block right there on this uh, defensive lineman, pushing him out of the way to create this huge hole. And then going up to the second level, getting another very good block on this linebacker. Austin Eckler runs right through this hole created. And then all you need to see is Keenan Allen right here. Boom, snap that block on that defensive back right there. Austin Eckler has one man to beat, and it was the safety. And then he gets a 72-yard touchdown run. The reason why this worked is because of the beautiful blocking by these two tight ends, Trey McKitty and Donald Parham, Matt Filer as well. Big shout out to him. That is just beautiful team blocking on this play looked very similar to that one that we saw that uh, play that I just showed you previously. You can see this is the formation here. And then this is the formation previously. And you can see the only difference really is that this is a toss play and they didn't pull that left guard. Otherwise, you can see the tight end, Donald Parham on the linebacker, Keenan Allen coming up from that bottom of the screen right there to block this man. It's just a better formation. It looks like they kind of learned from that last play to call this one. And that's why it was a 72 yard touchdown. Absolutely beautifully executed. And just a very good play call. Now in this play, great protection by the right side of this offensive line, but also Mr. Austin Eckler getting that pass protection rep on Jalen Ramsey, the blitzing cornerback on this play, absolutely just puts him on the ground right there. And also just major props to Joe Lombardi for throwing this ball past the line of scrimmage to Keenan Allen, who makes, it looks like a one-handed catch right there for a first down. Great all around. Oh, man, I love seeing this. When you can assert your will the way the Chargers are doing. This is third and short. Trey Pipkins completely sealing off this edge. And then these are tight ends. This is tight end Trey McKitty and Donald Parham getting beautiful blocks on linebackers to create this hole. The amount of confidence that you have to have in these tight ends to block linebackers like that in order for your running back to get success in the ground game, it's just absurd. These guys are coming back healthy. I love seeing it. Donald Parham, I was really impressed with his blocking ability. And as you can see on the end of this play, he's pushing, uh, I think this is Leonard Floyd, all the way down the field, getting that extra bit of yardage for Austin Eckler. I love seeing this, man. Another short yardage situation. The Chargers convert. Zion Johnson, the rookie, pulling out from his right guard spot right here. Boom. You can see, look at how low he gets. I mean, look at the flexibility of his dang hips and his knees. He's not tearing a meniscus here or anything like that. And then Austin Eckler going through this hole right here. Tight end again. Gerald Everett getting a nice block on the edge. But just get skinny right here. And then go through the hole, get that yardage, 
And then Zion Johnson coming through with a big push to get some extra bit of yardage on the play, probably getting an extra four or five inches. Every inch makes a difference. And then Gerald Everett getting mean at the end of the play. You love seeing this as a Chargers fan, man. Some physicality. This is the difference between getting five yards and 15 yards. Austin Eckler, man, is so good. But also, Justin Herbert, look at the pocket presence. This pocket is converging completely on every angle right here. He maintains his poise, and he just stands up tall in the pocket, gets rid of that ball perfectly to Austin Eckler in stride. And then right here. This is the difference between 5 and 15 yards. A little juke move right there on Bobby Wagner, one of the best linebackers in the league. And then instead of just getting tackled at about the 30, he gets a first down and then some steps out of bound about right here. That is about 15 yards. This is the exact same play except to the left side instead of the right side as that 8-yard gain that I showed you before that 72-yard touchdown. Toss to Austin Eckler, and you can see Jalen Ramsey right here. Looks like he was going to blitz regardless, but he kind of blows up this play a little bit. He forces Austin Eckler a little too much to the inside. Trey McKitty is able to, you know, block him just enough so that he creates a bit of a hole right here. Donald Parham does a nice job as he has all game on Bobby Wagner. And Austin Eckler, again, just able to make these guys miss and get a first down on a second and short, you can see when the Chargers are able to run the ball like this, and you have a, a, an elite quarterback like Justin Herbert, it, it's just a beautiful combination. I mean, Austin Eckler, his ability to maneuver through these blocks and these tight ends blocking and just the play design, everything. I love it so much. If Joe Lombardi improves as a play caller, hey man, we're talking Super Bowl. Another instance of assert your dominance. Quarterback, Justin Herbert, QB sneak. Now, 23 for 24. So easy. You just run the ball down their throat. Okay, this is the first play that I don't really like. Uh, we're going to have Josh Palmer in motion to the top of the screen, and then the tight end, Stone Smart, going up the field right here to get that trap block. But you can see Joshua Kelly is going to get this ball. He does this little hezzy right here, and then starts looking to go over here where this linebacker, this edge defender, is just coming unblocked on the play instead of following the tight end uh, stone smart and look right here if he just goes over here instead of doing this little hezzy and then back to this left side you go to this outside lane and then you have an easy edge to the touchdown i mean josh palmer is going to get this block right here and you got stone smart just in case this would be an easy touchdown lane for joshua kelly he just missed it when you're able to run the ball with such dominance it opens up that quick passing screen game as well as you can see the rams are given a ton of space at the top of the screen right here keenan allen is going to get this ball but it's a fake inside zone handoff justin herbert does a nice job of faking it right here and then boom so fast flipping those shoulders already in that throwing motion gets the ball off so cleanly to keenan allen and now look at this this is again a first and 10, and they're going to get just an easy eight to nine yards on this play just because they're taking what the defense gives them. Really, really good play call and great play design. When you're able to run the ball like that, you can just take these yards from a defense. This is a smart play design by Joe Lombardi, and I'm sure Brandon Staley has something to do with this too. He is acknowledging that he has a six foot nine tight end, Donald Parham. You're just going to run him right up the seam, and you're also acknowledging that you have Austin Eckler, a very shifty, small running back that is able to do a lot in space. And Bobby Wagner is just focusing on Austin Eckler right now on this play. And you get that ball up high over Bobby Wagner while he is just, even for a split second, fo focusing on Austin Eckler. You get that ball over him to six foot nine Donald Parham. He's not going to be able to jump up to get that ball because you can put that ball so high because this man is so high in the freaking air just by standing up. Really good job of knowing your personnel and just calling up a great play man wow so that's the film that was probably the best game offensively that the Chargers have had all season and probably the the best all-around game that they've had all season including offense and defense really good game by Joe Lombardi in both play design and play calling in my opinion obviously I want to know what you guys think as well do you still think I'm an idiot for what I said two weeks ago do you think I'm an idiot for what I'm saying right now that I think Joe Lombardi is actually improving as an offensive coordinator let me know. Thanks for watching until the end of this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to the Chargers LAFB YouTube channel, and I will see you guys next time.